Hey guys, just wanted to bring you a uh, pack video here. Um, got a friend and subscriber that uh, ordered this on Monday, and it actually showed up today from the UK, or yesterday, I guess. Uh, uh, today is uh, Wednesday, March the 16th. Uh, it was ordered on eBay from a UK seller. They obviously threw it on an airplane because it showed up in a real hurry. Um, so two days later, I, we've got it in our hands. Brought it to work for me today and uh, and said, go ahead, take it home and check it out. So um, I've been doing that. This is the Kelty Red Wing 50. Now there's two types of Red Wing 50s. There's one on the Kelty site right now, which looks nothing like this really. Uh, it doesn't have the handle here. It doesn't have the pickaxe or the snow axe uh, loop or uh, it actually has just a single strap in the center here which doesn't exist on this model you can find this model um, they're both called the Red Wing 50 but you can find this one on Amazon eBay all over the place on Kelty's website this is called the Red Wing 50 they have it in black and it's five hundred and five dollars don't bother ordering it from there because it's there, there's nothing different about it than any other Red Wing 50 you'll find on Amazon. Uh, these go for about 130 bucks. Um, my buddy got this one on eBay for a hundred dollars plus I think twenty dollars shipping or something like that. Uh, so good deal. This is uh, made out of some pretty lightweight nylon. It definitely feels well made. It's a, it's a ripstop material, nice and rugged. It feels like it weighs about half of what my Everly stock does. Um, I've got some specs here. I'll just go through real quickly. Now there are a couple different size options. I don't know if you're actually going to see this on camera or not. I'll just read it off to you. So this is the 50. Uh, it's 52 liters. They also have the... This is the 50 medium to large. So for a medium to large torso. And I will try to get that on camera for you. There we go. So there's your torso length ranges. 17 and a half to 21 inches on the torso. The small to medium is 14 and a half to 18 and a half. And then they also have the 44 uh, smaller pack with the same torso as the 50 small to medium. Um, so yeah, we're dealing with 52 liters. Yeah, so it says it weighs 3.5 pounds, which... I guess I was uh, even more off. My Everly stock G4 operator is about 10 pounds, but it's got a lot more to it. It's got a gun scabbard and everything else on it. Uh, so yeah, overall length 26 inches, 16 inch width, and 12 inches of depth. So it has a carry handle here on the outside. It has, I thought it had a side carry handle, but I guess it doesn't has a carry handle here on the top which honestly I find really skimpy if you get a lot of weight in this I'm sure it'll hold it but it just it doesn't feel like a good sturdy handle if you're lifting you know 40 50 pounds in this bag uh, it'd be nice to distribute that weight across your hand a little better than that but it is what it is it's on there you have a carry strap there like I said it has these hoops for attaching gear whether it be carabiners or whatever, this is meant for an axe, pickaxe, um, compression straps, top and bottom here. One complaint I do have about this pack is the way the clips are set up, and you're going to notice it throughout the pack. They're very widely spread. I don't know how well you'll see that there. There we go. And so when you're trying to put it in this, if you're not paying attention, you're going to miss and do that. Not the end of the world, but if you're out and your hands are cold and stuff like that, I prefer to have it a little bit bridged here. A lot of them will just put a little piece of plastic so that you can't jam it in between the fingers and uh, just make it a little more uh, natural to have it pop into place here. They feel like they're good quality clips. Uh, they do. It's just I don't really like the design of the mouth of them. Um, just seems a little too easy to miss. But anyway, that's that's just a, a data point that might not matter to some or all of you. Uh, it's got a nice front pouch here. 
these zippers are they appear to be pretty well waterproofed or at least water resistant they've got a little flap in behind them as well we've got an organizer and with a set of instructions it's got a key lanyard multiple pockets Velcro dividers, and it comes down pretty deep. There's uh, lots of room in that front uh, quick access pouch. Of course, we have some side saddles on both sides. Put a fair amount of gear in there. They also have, in behind the side saddle, they have a sleeve here, as you can see. Now, on their pictures, they're showing like, uh, what do they call them, walking poles, I guess, collapsible walking poles, and people are, are shoving them right down in there, and that's, I could see that, or an axe maybe, um, or something like that. The only problem I have with that, now keep in mind, you do have the compression straps here that can help you retain something long that you've shoved down here, even uh, your tent poles, you know, stuff like that. Um, so you could you could lash it or slide it in there, tighten down your compression straps, and it shouldn't go anywhere. But as it comes down into here, this light mesh is where it's meeting. Now there is a reinforced bottom, but it's not very wide on the reinforcement, and I see very easily pushing potentially sharp or pointy objects into, I mean, you're not going to put an axe head down here. You'd have the head up at the top and have a cover on it, hopefully. But say you're dealing with those walking sticks and they've got a spike on the end of them or whatever. Do you really want that sticking out the top? Either you're going to got to make a choice there, but either way, there's a possibility that you're going to have something in here that's going to wear on this mesh. Uh, I just see that as a possible point of failure. But uh, I don't know, maybe even just going double up on the... Uh, on the nylon at the bottom might have been an idea, but just uh, just something to look at. Uh, your compression straps go right through in behind this elastic, I guess this is a bottle holder really, that's where you'd put your water bottle. Um, and it does have a little hoop here, so I mean I guess you could hang anything off there, but you might even want to think about putting a carabiner between the loop on your Nalgene bottle if that's what you're using. And here, so that if ever this elastic does get old and worn and it falls out, you're not going to lose it. It'll still be hanging on. Just an idea. Um, of course, and we have the same side saddle system on the other side with the same sleeve. We have a top quick grab pouch here. Put in your hat, your scarf, whatever you need to that you just have to get at quickly. And we have a top opening compartment. And it actually, once you open up your compression straps here, you can open up the whole front of the bag. And this is the brunt of your storage. Uh, it has again some little key hoops or place to keep things uh, handy for yourself has this pouch which you could certainly use for many things but I would say a hydration bladder would be a good spot for that as it does have a little channel up here at the top to be able to put your bladder straw through and of course you can run it down inside of your uh, shoulder strap also has a load bearing plate in it so it's a uh, plastic material distribute the weight across your back a little bit as well as an aluminum bar on the back side that works along with that the bar is removable we've got some nice thick a nice thick uh, waistband which uh, these are pull forward straps again same thing on these this buckle I would prefer to see it a little more 
foolproof as far as putting it together. On a normal day, it shouldn't be an issue. It's just you start to get cold, start to fumble a bit with your fingers. Could be annoying. Um, this pouch comes off, or not this pouch, sorry, this uh, waistband comes off. It's got some straps on it as well. Uh, if you want to hook on a, a pouch to it or some type of gear. And it's got a pretty nice bit of padding here. Like I said, this is the medium to large. Um, I've got a pretty long torso. I'm six foot four, uh, and I've got what a 34 inch inseam. So I'm fairly long through the torso still, and uh, I find this fits very comfortably. Um, now they're talking about airflow. It's definitely got some channels in here to try to keep your back cool. Uh, I haven't worn it enough to to give you uh, you know real opinion on that, but it's definitely comfortable for sure. And like I said, lighter weight than my big uh, G4 operator pack. Um, these are pretty cool. Uh, I've got your chest strap and the adjustment. It's just they've got a tube built in to the uh, strap here, and this piece of plastic is just clamped onto it, and it slides up and down on it. I usually you see a strap and and one of these to kind of go up and down. This is just a different setup. Pretty neat. It's smooth. It doesn't uh, bind at all. Uh, it may wear eventually underneath there, but for right now it seems very secure. It doesn't want to come off or anything. Um, your straps are adjustable bottom and somewhat adjustable on the top. Now they are anchored here, but they also have an adjustment strap. So I guess you could just cinch them up a little bit or let them hang a little bit. Just uh, not a huge amount of adjustment, but it's something up there. Um, and so it's not just depending on, it doesn't seem like it's attached quite as securely as some at the top here, but it does have two points of attachment. So that I'm pretty sure makes up for it as far as strength goes. I wouldn't worry there. Uh, pads are nice and comfortable here. The straps, uh, nicely padded, ventilated, uh, they're a nice mesh material. Just in general, it's a nice pack. I, uh, I'm i impressed so far. This is the first uh, Kelty I've seen. They make this in this blue. They make it in OD green. They make it in black. And then uh, the other version that doesn't have this carry handle and stuff, they make it in a black or red an aqua blue instead of this. And uh, yeah, there was one other color on there. Green, I guess. Yeah, so uh, pretty good as far as uh, warranty on these things. Uh, shouldn't your gear last as long as you? We think so. That's why we guarantee the materials and workmanship on our product free for life. Okay, defect free for life. So lifetime warranty on these things. So for a hundred bucks, hundred and twenty dollars, you get a nice pack with a lifetime warranty. That's not bad. Um, the only other thing I wanted to mention is the materials. I know I keep saying they're nylon material. Um, they're calling this, okay, the reinforcement um, fabrics, which I guess would be corner fabrics. Any of the reinforcements uh, are poly 75 by 150D. Tesser coal. Uh, the regular fabric, the actual full body fabric is Poly 420D small back Stafford. Uh, so that's their technical or their, their term for what fabric they're using. But pretty uh, decent to get uh, to get to all your stuff. I would have liked to have seen maybe um, multiple compartments in this big main section and maybe a, a shelf that you could remove and a lower, you know what, I'm just describing a pack I have as far as the, the Everly stock. It's not the style of it. Um, it's one that I, I find it efficient to have multiple compartments to go to just so you're not kind of piling stuff on to, to itself, but uh, it's all personal preference. So I think this thing is pretty sharp. It's definitely, uh, it's an attractive color. It's very comfortable on the back. It can sit very low profile once you cinch it down with the compression straps. Um, can't beat the warranty and uh, 
it's about a quarter of the price of my Everly stock G4 operator. So for all of those things, um, if this is something you want to carry around, you go to the gym every day, you go to work and you carry a spare set of clothes, you carry spare shoes, uh, plus your lunch, uh, which I know is the intention for this pack in particular. I think it's a great option if you're going hiking, camping, uh, if you're a survivalist, that kind of thing. Again, great option. Um, I'm sure you could arrange a takedown boat on the side of it or something like that. There's many options here to carry with this. You're not very, you're not really limited in what you can fit in here. If you wanted to put a takedown 1022 in it, um, if you're an AR-15 guy, you could. It might be a bit long for that, I guess. You get a classable stock, you could probably swing it. Um, but yeah, there's there's definitely some options. It's a very nice pack that doesn't look tactical, uh, so that could be a big draw for people. So, um, yeah, on that note, guys, uh, keep in touch. We're going to go ahead and get some more videos up for you very soon. Um, on this, I got to say, I, I would probably give it a four out of five stars, and just mainly the reason I would, I would ding it a star is, you know, the, the little clasps, the buckles, I don't quite like the design of them, and some of the straps seem a bit small, and and it's just, I wouldn't call it disorganized, but one thing, if I was to suggest an improvement on this pack, um, a simple Velcro strap or elastic strap around each one of these points, because when I have this pulled down, and I have this on my shoulders, these are flopping right in my ears. So I think they should be tied away right here. It should be able to be tied away. Now, yes, you can just tie it off, you know, and try to make it smaller, but it'd be nice if they gave you an option that you could just fold it up and then just had a little compression, you know, elastic strap or Velcro there to hold it down and kind of keep it out of the way. That Just that as an improvement and maybe thickening these up a little bit just to give it a little more of a, a rugged feel, I guess, because it just feels like the straps are a little, a little thin. Um, I think those two things would make a, just an epic improvement uh, on an already nice bag. Like I said, I do think it's definitely well worth the 140 bucks you'd spend on it regular, let alone the 110, 120 that you can get them for. Um, if you're looking for a pack, I think this is a real good idea. Uh, I hope my video helps you guys out uh, making an informed decision. Keep in, keep in touch. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. And we'll talk to you soon.